Hello, tamers, and welcome back to Digimobs into the digital world. It is I, Raviel Polyferidius, your vampiric tamer. So, last time we got these two to Digivolve, which wasn't too bad. Um, if I remember correctly, examine. I don't think they can digivolve just yet. Yeah. Both of them have a little more requirements that need to be run to digivolve again. And we do need to... So one thing you do notice, we do have a bit of carpet. That is because I went to another village and kind of worked up with a shepherd to check something because I'd heard shepherds can do digimob items they can I got a few more chips uh, but beyond that they actually don't get anything that I needed because there are some chips that do stat buffs now the problem is finding said chips I still don't know if they're through the vendors the Digimob vendors, or if they're through the uh, the normal Minecraft villager shepherds, because I've not seen them on either of them. There's no way both of these Biomon have the exact same. I was about to say. There's no way. There's a, pet, a petabyte, which is 6k XP. A megabyte, which is 1000 XP. All right, so we've been working on everything here and over there. I think I'm honestly not sure what to do. Also, still looking for the name in the comments for little Gammon here. No one has given him a nickname. I would love for you guys to nickname him. Leave suggestions in the comments. Oh, that's also another reason uh, I was kidding about. Well, no, the shepherd is actually legit, but um, yeah, I made a sheep farm. I'm going to slowly make f some more farms over here. I switched out a few of the fences to make these a little more look a little bit nicer. And made a sheep pen, which I think the next pen will probably be a cow pen right beside it. But, thinking about the various Digimon, I, in order to get, mm, in order to get Grey Force up, we are going to need to fight some Ultimates. Now, the Ultimates we keep jumping to are in the South, I believe. They are in the South. So, what I'm thinking is we head west and we make sure to put down some waystones along the way we have three waystones that are excess one we could leave off at abandoned rookie village 01 or abandoned champion village 01 there's also rookie village 01 which we never went back to so we have opportune time to start leaving some waystones around. Of course there is more to do in the one dimension, the second dimension we have, which is the nether. But the problem is, honestly, the nether's a fiery place where we could easily lose our life. Some 
Kind of similarly to the overworld. We can easily lose our life here. That's why I'm wanting to get our gear situated before we start doing more stuff in both the nether and digimobs. But if we're going to have to level grind gray force, it'd be easier if we could find an ultimate area that is around his level as well as roughly an easy way to get uh, my, I was start, I was trying to think of something but <laughs> also thank you everyone that has come over to the twitch side and supported me while I've been streaming I've been streaming Fire Emblem Three Houses recently, uh, going through the Crimson Flower route. It has been a blast going through it so far, and I would love to continue having people show up during the streams. Please, you don't even have... Just come over, you can just have a, the sound on in the background, and I will will continue playing. Uh, after I beat Crimson Flower, I don't know if I'll do another playthrough of Three Houses or if I'll do something else. Because the uh, there is the other storylines of Three Houses. And they would be New Game Plus playthroughs. Alright, so we've made it to Rookie Village 01. So let's grab a Waystone. Now this village being that it was being that we found it in the digital world before this doesn't have a waystone location. So for now this is where we'll place it. We will eventually come back and try to make it look good. But for now I just wanted to add it. Oh, and we should Make sure that on the list, it's right here. Now, Rookie Village 02, which is right around the corner, we won't put one there. As there's no point, because we can walk to Rookie Village 02 from Rookie Village 01. It's right over here. However, Champ... The deserted Champion Village 01. I will be working on that one. Uh, thank you to anybody that's come over and watched Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, as well as the other Digimon series, Digimon World Data Squad. Both are going great. Uh, having a, Been having some issues with Data Squad, as it is a game I'm not too familiar with. I'm familiar with the series, not the game. And thank you to everyone that watches these videos for Digimobs. We are almost up to 250 subscribers. So if you guys know anybody else that would like my content, please have them come over. Have them at least check out a video or two before they subscribe. That's fine. I have all kinds of videos they can look at and judge whether they want to subscribe or not. All I do is I ask for, for everyone to try. I don't even ask that you subscribe if you don't want to. So getting back to Digiville. Uh, getting back to deserted digi, the deserted champion village 01. Hey, there we go. 
We should almost be there now. I remember that uh, ravine right there. That is a pillager out. Those are pillagers, and I do not feel like dealing with them. Geogramon, Galgamon, yep. We're hitting it. This is the level 20s area. So it should be right up ahead. There it is. Oh, there's a spiral. Uh, spirals are never bad for XP. Select Digimon. And attack. See, the problem becomes... Now I can't do super moves as easy. So that is one thing. Uh, you can't do super moves as easy with the new Digivice radial dial. I hadn't thought about that until now. Hmm. Oh, hey, a wandering trader at a deserted village. Isn't that ironic? Very well. I don't think it's ironic, but interesting. Yep, here's our bed and our house that we made. So we'll go ahead and leave one more waystone here. This will be for Deserted Champion Village 01. There we go. Yep, there's another spiral there. Might as well take it out. Positron Black. Okay. Oh, hey, Gray Force leveled up. Uh, still can't digivolve, though I think that's because of his special defense. <sighs> Which, that's fine. His special defense is going up slowly, and the chips... I'm not even sure if the necessary chips... can be gained from that. So I am going to... I've heard that there's a... Uh... I've heard there's a special kind of plugin that the digital world can download that'll allow you to find out where items come from. And I believe they give it to any tamer that's received a champion, so... I'll see if I can locate where that plug-in might be before next time. Just to clarify, I do not mean an actual plugin, I mean a mod. I didn't even think about this. Our uh, anti-gat, the anti-gatless, our uh, map 
it hasn't been out this way before. Because this is where the original, uh, this was the direction we found the original desert in. Huh. Oh, buried treasured map. Uh, moss blocks. Oh. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's move this to here. Looks like we're a bit north of it. Looks like north and... Oh, it looks like we're heading south along it. So we need to head east. Buried treasure is always a good thing we can find along the way. Hmm, I feel like this area looks familiar. Is this where one of our encampments was? Might have been. Hmm. This might have been a later champion training area. But apparently there is a... Apparently there is a... It, oh. Okay, so... I really need to watch what I'm doing. All right, so we're under, we're on the X now. So usually when you're on the X, all right, so it should be right here. There we go. And that's an extra iron sword at least. Plus some extra items. Which, we didn't really need them, but it's always good to get a few extra items along the way. What's his level? 58? Gonna have to keep going, because we're gonna have to find at least ultimates to satisfy him. And even if they're ultimates, they need to be pretty good ultimates. Almost to the mega tier. But I hope everyone's enjoying the Digimobs series. I hope they're enjoying the uh, Digimon stuff that's not Digimobs. The uh, the Kingdom 
I know Kingdom Hearts is also kind of not everyone's most favorite. And for any of those that are coming over to the Twitch and watching oops, the Fire Emblem stuff, I hope you all are enjoying Fire Emblem Three Houses as much as I am. It is a phenomenal game. And honestly, the only thing I wish I that I could say about it more is I wish I had the DLC for it. I really do wish I had gotten I had decided to get the DLC before starting up the playthrough. Because I feel like it would have just enhanced the experience more. But going forward I before before ending the series well I'd say probably close to the end. I might go ahead and buy the DLC. Lilymon, level 38. Okay, so we're in an ultimate area. I didn't think I'd see a Lilymon, but we're in an ultimate area at least. Which is good. At this point, the last waystone is mainly going to be used for a... I just realized, do I have... Yeah, they're all on. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I don't know why the game doesn't do as much sound effects. Other ver other ones that I've done do more sound effects. Because I've made multiple mod packs. Oh, there's a spiral right there we could take on. Uh, it's a, I think that's a Daramon. Yeah. So we are going to be at a slight disadvantage against it, but... When is being at a disadvantage ever stop me? Oh, right. Attack, Positron Blaster. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, let's uh, grab three of these. Uh, come on. Oh, ability ready. Uh, nope. Shoot. Okay, this is the issue I'm having. He's in the way. I can't get past him to get the ability to fire. Positron Blaster. Okay. Good job. Took you a minute, didn't it? Turn you to the V-Pet. So he is... So spirals in the level 41 range are a bit tougher to fight... But it does look like the only Digimon here are Data Digimon of Lilymon and Daramon. And I'm not sure how much further we could get and find another uh, habitable biome with Digimon. But we can always... What is down there? Where is this? Where, where is... Oh, that's a Lilamon. Okay. So Lilymon, Lilamon, and I don't think... Yeah, Lilamon's also a data. So all of these have been... That is a really... Oh, that's a spiral. Which would be really good for XP, but oh, I can't. In good conscience, I can't. We had to keep going for a little bit longer. Hopefully we can find something... That will be... Not only stronger, but also more along the uh, triangle for what he should be taking out, which is Virus Digimon. The thing is, 
I'm thinking the uh, the Digimon Triangle is in this game. The virus virus beats up on data. Data beats up on vaccine. Vaccine beats up on virus, and free just beats up on itself. I'm thinking that weapon that uh, Digi Triangle is in here, but I'm actually not certain. Hmm. Beyond that, I'm having to make sure that nothing goes wrong while we're heading through these forests. <sighs> I say that, and I just found out those wolves got rid of a pack of sheep. So that's uh, fun. <laughs> uh, uh, well, at least it's supplies towards getting uh, another backpack if I need it. I will admit, I really should have... looked around. Ah. I... I just wish the digital world had spawned with more of the biomes that can give me my can give digital partners and things to fight like th as much as I don't like birch at least birch forests can spawn Digimon there's some of these areas that just they can't spawn anything nothing appears and it's it kind of feels lonely out here. Sure, I have my own Digimon. But... When you can't just bring out your Digimon and fight something random... It feels like certain things probably shouldn't have been... Left. Well, left out, I should say. I don't remember going past a birch forest going this way. I think I remember a roofed forest. Going, maybe going across the treetops of the roofed forest. Okay, so we're into the, if I'm correct, we're into Mega Territory, and that is Boltmon. So he's, uh, he's a biggin' that we don't want any part of, because he will decimate us, being that he is a Data Digimon in the level 50 range.
yes, we are 58, so we are stronger than these Boltmon. But the problem is, they're still Bolt, they're still Data Digimon. If we're going off the thought that the Digimon Triangle is there, a level 50 Ultimate is not going to be handling a level 50 Mega. Let's see. We'll head over to this roof, the rest of this roof forest, and see if maybe going around the corner a bit. Like over here. Maybe there'll be an air, a slight area that has ultimate spawns. Like right here, maybe on the edge of these two forests there might be ultimate spawns i'm not sure i i'm hoping but hoping what actually happens is two separate things it's odd also that the dark oak forest is only spawning these boltmon instead of something else I do feel like these guys are going to rip apart Gray Force if I try anything. Maybe I should go back into the Birch Forest. <sighs> However, I think this is also where we'll call it. I'll jump back into the Birch Forest. So, that is where we will call it. Next time, we will be searching around the Birch Forest, see if we can find any Megas or Ultimates that suit Gray Force's fight. And hopefully by next time, we'll have that plug-in we need to uh, better be able to find out where we can find various items. But until next time, Tamers, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all. The next time we go digital, stay digital, y'all.